Is there evidence against the notion of motor programs? You might think that after everything we've read and discussed, that motor programs are a given. We pre-plan our movements based on a series of commands, and we execute our movements in that fashion. However, it's important to realize that that's not the complete story. First of all, consider the role of sensory feedback. When you reach out to grab a doorknob, do you really think that your brain puts together the entire sequence of motor commands necessary to do that? Or is it subject to modification? As it turns out, as it turns out, that's more in line with what we actually do. Your brain does put in place a motor command or motor program to get you near the doorknob, but as you move, the human sensory system is giving you proprioceptive and visual feedback, and you use that information to adapt the motor command to achieve your goal. What's important to realize is that the initial motor command is susceptible to change, so the motor program, while there, can be changed during an ongoing movement. So, it is modifiable. More recently, it's become apparent that we also use forms of predictive control. Now, this is fairly advanced material that we'll deal with later in the course, but the notion is simple. The motor command is essentially executed by the brain in a simulation to see what's going to happen. And if a change is detected, the motor command is modified before the movement even begins. So while using predictive control, specifically what are called forward and inverse models, the brain is able to simulate movements and the consequences of those movements and make changes in effectively real time to ensure movement accuracy. Why this matters is again, it doesn't rule out the idea of a motor program, but it strongly suggests that that motor program is modifiable. And you might be wondering why this picture is up. Predictive systems underlie the whole reason you can't tickle yourself, but we'll talk more about that later in the course.